You're completely in control. It's all very transparent to you. Right. Privacy is just mm. foundational to that. Yay! I love the sentence. And you could say no, or you could say yes. My family didn't know it, but because I can't tell them what I'm working on. It's the great thing about working yeah, inside of, of Apple is, is while we're building it, we all get to uh, experience it. ¿Te acuerdas de esta entrevista que hice hace un tiempo? Ok, pues ha llegado el momento de actualizar esta entrevista y es uno de los motivos de por qué he venido al World Developers Conference y en concreto al Apple Park que está ahí. Vamos a ver qué nos tiene que contar Craig sobre inteligencia artificial. Vamos al lío. Hi Craig, how are you doing? Long time no see. Yeah, I think there's a couple years, three yeah. years ago maybe? I think it was in 2022. 2022, yeah, okay, a couple yeah. years ago? It was, yeah, a couple years ago, after another data of DC. Uh-huh. Yeah, one thing, um, you know that the most requested question that I had in the comment section, it, was, it wasn't it was about just uh, the new releases, it was that time about your uh, hair routine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is not an impressive routine. I, gotta, I think it's I gotta tell you. Yeah, no. But the thing is, if you just uh, just comb your hair the same way for like 40 years, it just yeah. it just goes to that place. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like the video yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> well, the like helmet. At the very beginning. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that was that was a create. I can't take credit for the creation of it that helmet. Nice. That was, was yeah. Our, our marketing team. I don't know what they do all year because they were when the time came. They're like, we have an idea. Yeah. Here's this <laughs> helmet. Oh my god. What do you think? That was and they were movie. afraid I was going to say no, and I'm like, oh, okay, fine. And they're the yay. I mean, they were they were yeah, really ready was, to put that really, thing. on. Really, really fun. Yeah, <laughs> fun was, experience. By the way, and we now with the real question yes. that I have from, uh, for you. So yesterday uh, during the presentation. Um, you guys release Apple Intelligence. Also, I really like one one sentence that um, is, says AI for people uh, for the rest of for yes. the rest of us. Yeah, I love that sentence. So, which are the use case as uh, scenarios that we're gonna uh, use AI? AI and also Apple Intelligence. And yeah. Apple, Apple well, you know, AI for the rest of us, I mean, that's that's a call back, of course, to the, the yeah. Mac and really taking, I, I think Apple's mission for, you know, forever has been how do we take this technology and, mm -hmm. and really make it for, for, uh, for everyone. Mm -hmm. And I think the power now of taking this new level of artificial intelligence and bringing it to um, use, to make it useful and personal and private uh, for, for everyone is, Uh, is our calling. Um, I think in terms of experiences, I mean, we see it in just in, integrated into the experience in things you all the time, like communication. I mean, take something as, mm -hmm. as, as seemingly trivial as like Genmoji or... or uh, which I love. Huh? Yeah, I which, love which I think, I think we're, all, I mean, look, we're all going to use them. You might not have gone off to some like image generation website and tried to create something to communicate with your friend, True. but when it's integrated right in the flow of your conversation, it's hmm. even aware of the concepts you're talking about to help you build an emoji, and then it just goes right there to be, so you can use it in all the context of emoji, it's going to enrich the way we communicate, and it's going to bring a smile to people's faces. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, r things like writing tools, the ability everywhere you you write to get help in summarizing things or, or fixing, proofreading things, restyling things, and not just in mm. some particular tool, but just no matter where it is that you're working with text is something we do all the time. And just making that as available as like spell checking is today, yeah, is very right? It's just going to touch all the time. But And then mm. you get to all the experiences where Siri can help you work across applications, um, search your, your local information to help you get at things. You, you don't know, was that in an email? Was that in a message that someone sent me this podcast I want to listen to? Mm. You just say, hey, play me the podcast that Cheryl sent me the other day, and it figures out where it was and pulls it and plays it for you. I mean, these are just ways that are just automatically going to take some some weight off and make your your day that much uh, that much better and I think we just build from here that's right and also uh, you have built this uh, almost uh, for doing a lot of tasks on the device in yes. the device when is the need to push from in the device uh, all the all the AI on the device and uh, going to the cloud Yeah, yeah, great, great question. Because we do with with the power of Apple Silicon in our latest phones, we can run some pretty impressively powerful models mm -hmm. on your iPhone itself, and that's really important because that's where all your personal information is. We want the model to be able to understand what's useful and important to the question you've asked, and we can do that all on device. 
Uh, and so a lot of these operations can occur uh, uh, locally. Uh, but there are questions, part of the power of the local models is we can train them to be good at very specific things. Yeah, we sure. actually uh, have this technology we call adapters. Where mm -hmm. We say, oh, summarization, let's make it great at summarization. Replying to email, let's make it great at replying to emails. And we can target the model. It can be very, very good at those specific things. But if you try to do something very, much more general, that's where a larger model that uh, has okay. much broader capacity is something great to be able to tap into. But we wanted to make sure that if you do that, you can get access to that power but without compromising on your privacy. And that's why we built this whole private cloud compute system yeah. built on Apple Silicon from yeah. the ground up, just like your iPhone, um, so that your request is processed using all that power uh, in mm -hmm. the cloud, but without making your information accessible to anyone, not even to Apple, um, that it just gets processed there, the result comes back, and uh, you're, you're the only one in control yeah. of that information. I think this is a huge difference uh, from uh, other AIs that we have seen uh, coming in these last months. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, and also, um, I think it um, also speaks to the, to the Apple core, because it's like privacy. So. Oh, a hundred percent. I mean, we, as a company, uh, we, we were we were founded uh, to create the personal computer, True. right? I mean, literally, yeah. that was that was and and the idea that it's, it's yours, it's yeah. yours, and you control it. The the world of computing for mm. us doesn't center around some cloud somewhere. Mm. Uh, it, it centers around you, True. and every device we built are these personal things yeah. that we carry, yeah, exactly. we use that, and every day. And so, privacy is just mm. foundational to that. And as we thought about taking advantage of the power of this next generation of intelligence, hmm. we thought y you, you shouldn't even try to do those things if you can't do it without maintaining the value of privacy. And Makes so a a every step we took along the way was uh, maintaining privacy as a bedrock to the entire project. That's, that's great. Also, Craig, uh, one thing that I have, uh, I have a question uh, about is uh, when is chat GPT uh, coming into action? So it's, it's, we see the capability of some of these uh, very uh, large general purpose models that are trained on lots of world knowledge, have expertise in this really broad set of, of things, as very complementary to personal intelligence. You know, it's personal mm -hmm. intelligence, and this is sort of another thing alongside it. And so we wanted to make sure that in the kinds of integrations that we have where you could be uh, maybe in a document you're trying to compose something and you want to just get some creative writing done by source, you should be able to tap into a tool like ChatGPT if you want and still have it integrated right in your flow, yeah, right? But we right. want to make sure that if you do that, you 100% know, I, I want to, I'm, I'm sort of leaving Apple's mm -hmm. uh, privacy bubble and I'm asking for for chat GPT and so we'll tell you if, if you ask a, something you like that, that yeah we'll say hey do you want um, to have chat GPT help with that and yeah. you could say no or you could say yes and then you know exactly what you're sending to chat GPT yeah. and see exactly you're what's coming control. back you're yeah. completely in control it's all very transparent to you and we think that's so it's never gonna Love automatically that. just reach out and send your data or your request to uh, outside of Apple that's always under your control makes so much so much sense Greg and just to wrap it up, a few things. Which is the the new feature that you are more like uh, that you're gonna use in your day to day? Oh, I mean, I'm I'm already using a bunch of them in, in okay. my day to day. Yes, you know, yes. because actually, it's uh, it's the great thing about working yeah, inside of, of Apple is is while we're building it, we all get to uh, experience it. I've been using uh, iPhone mirroring sometimes to access my phone when I'm on my Mac. I, I use continuity camera uh, a bunch, so where I'm using my phone as my camera yeah. for uh, when I'm when doing video conferencing. And of course then I'd have to take it down and pull it off or whatever. And so yeah. now I just pop it right up on, on my Mac. And that's just, uh, that's just fantastic. Um, believe it or not, on like the other end of the spectrum, uh, I've been using the uh, the image playground. You know, my, my family didn't know it, but because I can't tell them what I'm working on. But I was taking all the pictures of, of the family members oh, yeah. and making you know different things of them. And so finally, yesterday yeah. when I, I got home, was like, I, I was like, here, here's doing. what I've been doing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so uh, but it's so much fun, and, and we've been sending them to each other, uh, yeah. and, and it's 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 great. But I've been using the writing tools. I mean, it's. It's all uh, it's all very useful and seamless in in your day to day life, and I hope I hope you'll find that you're using so many of them as well. Yeah, I, I can't wait to to try them. Um, I think it was a very nice release, honestly. And, oh, good! I'm glad you liked it. And it makes so much sense. So, thank you. Oh, you are welcome. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Greg. Great to talk thank to you. you.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.